All right, Illini fans, it has finally happened. Nancy is out of here. The official story is that she's retiring, but she really was fired. She was 7-77 seven and 77 in Big Ten play at her stay at Illinois. And this year, they won one Big Ten game. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Illini women's basketball is a program that needs to be shut down. They don't win. They've never won. They never will win. Period. They don't make money. They're a drain financially to the institution. There's no reason why they should be allowed to continue. Every year, Illinois women's basketball wins zero to one Big Ten game a year. Why? Why are you allowed to be a program? It makes no sense. You can't point to any time where you could say the program was good or even average. It just doesn't exist. It doesn't matter who the coach is. So, officially, they say she's retiring. But we all know she was fired. Josh Whitman should have fired her long ago. But because she's a woman, because no one cares about the women's basketball program, he allowed her to live on recruit level and earn over a million dollars coaching the team. So not a bad job, really. Become a millionaire by going 7-77 seven and 77 in Big Ten play? Sign me up, Josh. Sign me up today. I don't care who they get as coach. You're not going to make this team good. It's just not going to happen. So it doesn't matter who they hire. They're going to fail. Just like she failed. Just like the coach before her failed. And so on and so on. So officially retiring. The reality was fired. And it's about time. When I first seen this picture, I thought she was dead. The 1986 to 2022, for a brief second, I thought she died. I really did. But she's not dead. She's just gone from Illinois. So she will go home, count her million dollars that she got from Illinois, and live out the rest of her days. Not bad at all. Good for her. Um, no coach could turn it around to Illinois. So it's nothing personal. But she was living on recruit level for a long time at Illinois. And um, it's about time she's out of here. So anyway, not that anyone cares because who cares about women's basketball? No one. Literally no one cares about it. But anyway, I just thought that it was good to see her gone. She deserved it. And 7-7 seven and seven in Big Ten play. If Brad Underwood went 7-77 seven and 77 in Big Ten play, it, first of all, it would be impossible. He would be fired long ago. There would be riots. If Brett Bilema goes 7-77 seven and 77 in Big Ten play and has a job, like I said, that would never happen. When you're a man coaching basketball, men's basketball, or football, and you go, you have a bad stretch, you're going to get fired, and you deserve it. When you're a female living on recruit level, you deserve to get fired, but you keep your job for a year, an extra year, and then an extra year, because you're a woman living on recruit level. So that's how that goes. There's not one men's basketball coach could survive this kind of pathetic record. They would have been fired two years ago. But anyway, that's the, that's the story. So, all right, let's see who they get next. Whoever they get, they'll fail. It's Illinois women's basketball. They'll always fail.